Hello, welcome to Hereford. It's race day today. I haven't said that for a long time. So mega excited to race a 10K today. I don't think I've ever said that. I'm excited to race a 10K. But here in Hereford, it's Christmas week. I've eaten, I've eaten way too much food, drunk way too much alcohol, so I'm not really in a peak performance shape. But, but, we are here, we are racing today. We're not taking it easy. So I am gonna try. I'm gonna at least try and see if I can get close to my PB, which is 45.09. So that, basically, what I'm looking for today is a sub 45 to make sure. And I wanna try and stay close to about a 4.27, 4.28 per kilometer average. Uh, in miles, it's, I don't know, a 7. 15 or something like that, I think. So I'm capable of going quicker, but at the peak of my powers, like about three months ago in September, when I was really, you know, I was feeling quite speedy then. Since then, I've just dropped off a cliff a little bit. I would say my fitness has, it's just, I've got no, I just can't, I can't seem to match those speeds, but we'll see what happens today. I've got my vapor flies on, so yes, you never know. I could, I could come up with the goods today. So apart from the horrendous amounts of Christmas food and alcohol I've drunk this week, conditions are actually quite good today, but there are forecast 40 mile an hour winds. So this could be the calm before the storm, but at the moment, it's quite a temperate eight, nine degrees. But yeah, I think the wind is gonna pick up. But anyway, everyone's got the same disadvantage today. So it's pointless moaning about that. Yeah, let's just see how we got on today. Should be a bit of fun. Um, and yeah, I can see how close I can get to that PB. I'm trying to go sub 45. We'll see how we do. So far, not so good. Basically, the rugby club is completely flooded. So no toilets, no teas and coffees, no bag trap. So not an ideal start. And it's just started peeing down, which is interesting. And I've got to try and get my tag. It looks like I'm literally uh, I'm on tag, so I look like a, some sort of a fender. But this is how we chip time in this race, and I've got to get that round my ankle. Uh, got to remember to do that, else I won't get an official time. And I think that's how you do it. How do you actually do it? I just literally... I ain't got a clue what I'm doing here. Is that, is that Velcro? So there's uh, Hereford behind me, and this is the River Wye down there and it's a little bit high today to say the least I can feel the weather start to turn the winds picking up a bit and the sky has gone a hell of a lot darker so mm, yes it's going to be a lovely one I'm gonna get I'm gonna get try and get warmed up I think uh, probably just do I don't know 15 minutes easy or something like that uh, maybe throw in a couple of speed uh, a couple of strides or something but I'm gonna switch to the head cam now so yeah let's crack on Let's see how we do. Let's chase down that sub 45. But don't put your money on it. The amount of pigs in blankets I've had this Christmas. Right, enjoy my yes, good 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 Yeah, okay.
far. But okay. Good. Thank you. I know where we are. I know where we are. Nearly back, nearly home. to go. Don't f*** up now Andy. Negative split is on. Come on. It's on Andy. It's on. of a new PB so we got round in total in 44 37 which gave me an average an average time of 426 and just mega pleased that I managed to negative split that so Sam said at the start I'm gonna pace 45 is that because you didn't really fancy going much faster, or you doing me a favour, or a bit of both? Uh, I, could, I don't know. A bit of both, and I had a good Christmas. <laughs> so, <laughs> a very uh, merry Christmas. Yeah, but, so, uh, but basically, Sam was the head of me the whole way, and I could see him, and he was getting further and further away from me at one point, but towards the end, I think we both felt that yeah. we paced it maybe correctly. Yeah, bang on. Because 
we were both moving quite well towards the end, weren't we? Yeah, so kicked on a bit to last 5k. I haven't seen my splits yet, but it felt like a negative split. Um, first 2k for me, I went out quite conservatively. And then, uh, yeah, the final 4k, uh, yeah, everything felt a lot quicker, but it was an interesting course, isn't it? Yeah, it's not, not a PB course, but no. it's... Uh, yeah, for, yeah. For, for, for anyone that's got a fast, P, uh, fast 10k PB, this probably wouldn't be the course. No, it's got a PB on. But for me, I've only done a handful of 10k's, yeah. and my previous 10k was in, like, what, 25 degree heat? It was, yeah, back in June, wasn't it? Yeah, it yeah, so... Um, so slightly easier for me, but apart from the the wind wasn't too bad, no, I didn't think. No, and the rain held off, didn't it? And well. the rain held off, so it was actually all in all quite good raining. Uh, sorry, quite good running conditions. It was a little bit wet and muddy underfoot at pl in places, but apart from that, decent race. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. well, good man. Bottom well path. Made it back, new PB, returning like a soldier from battle with a new PB. So looking at my splits, I'm really, really pleased with that. I managed to almost execute the race plan. I didn't talk about that beforehand, partly because I forgot, but my plan was to go out nice and slowly, nice and conservatively, not slowly, but not go out too hard because I knew that it was almost like a pyramid shape. It had a big hump in the middle and at 5K, just after 5K, there was a nice downhill all the way to the finish with a few stinkers of hills in there but uh, the, the majority was uphill first half second half down so i my first three k's were 434 434 435 bear in mind i needed to finish with a 430 average or less and that's if my if the course doesn't run long or if my watch doesn't measure short um so then from four i picked it up slightly to 428 five and six 434 four, four, 434, 432. And here is where I put my foot down. I did a 420 and then a 422 for seven and eight. And then nine started to just jump off the pace slightly. There was a stinker of a hill there on the ninth K, which was um, which was difficult. And that was a 427. And then I closed with a with a four minute K. So I was really pleased uh, with with the way that I managed to sort of execute the race. It all came it all came into fruition and this time yesterday I actually did a training run and it didn't go to plan. I did try to do 2k at race pace and I couldn't even get near race pace. I was doing 440s or something and it just felt really labored really hard. But race days are funny things aren't they and I just managed to pull it out of the bag. Went with the vapor flies in the end and they did the trick. So at the race itself, I managed to have a catch up with a, a lot of runners, which was great. I met Andy, Forrest of Dean, runner, the FOD runner. Amazing. What a really nice guy. He's just as affable as you'd imagine he is in real life. And he said that he had a really good race as well. Well, he didn't say that, but he, he did. I think he came seventh uh, overall. So I'm not sure of his time, but uh, so sounds like he had a really good, strong and solid race as he's prepping for London in spring. Um, Sam as well, big shout out to Sam. Sam is my sort of unofficial pacer today. He he said to me at the start, look mate, I'm gonna do a 45 minute, I'm gonna try and go for a 45 minute 10K. Just keep an eye on me the whole way. And if you wanna try and do me at the end, then you'll know that you've got a 45. He ended up coming in about 44.20, because I think he got a sniff that I was pushing on as well. And the last K, as it was all nice and downhill, we both went for it. Um, so yeah, thanks to Sam. Uh, man of your word got me in sub 45 so thank you thank you dude and yeah we we had a really sort of nice coffee afterwards with sam and lou laura and i and daisy went out for coffee in hereford and we just thought wow why do we never come to hereford it's so close it's a really nice little place so i think we might come and do the the park run one day one saturday morning and then have a a morning in uh, morning afternoon in hereford because it's a really lovely little city so hope you've enjoyed this one i'm so glad to bring you the good news of a PB, finishing the, the year with another PB in the 10K, which is it is my, my most hated distance because I, I don't really enjoy 10Ks because they are really, really hard, but feeling good. So I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching this one. Merry Christmas, and I hope you have a 
prosperous 2024. Hope you're looking forward to setting some goals and hitting some targets next year. I certainly am. I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy wherever you are in the world and I'll see you soon. Ta-da.